Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again I'm coming to you with another product review. And the product that we're going to be taking a look at is this Kydex Inside the Waistband Holster right here by a company called Hilliker. Now, this I believe is a companion product that went with the Olight PL Turbo Valkyrie, which I recently reviewed. Now, of course, you can buy these holsters separately, and I think that's the whole point, but this company worked with Olight because these new lights are supposed to have the same footprint as a Surefire X300. And they asked me, what gun are you going to put this on? Well, I said, I want to review it on a Glock 19 which by units sold is the most popular handgun in the United States. So they sent me this holster to try out and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. It is a made in the USA holster. This particular one is for a Glock 19 or Glock 17 and it has the ability to use the light. So I guess this would also fit with a Surefire X300 and of course the Olight PL Turbo Valkyrie. So let me go ahead and adjust just the camera. Let's see what this holster is all about. Let's see if it's quality. If it fits this gun well, then we'll try it on. And I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so here's what I received from Hilliker. Here we have the holster. We also got a little card. There is their logo. It also has a little QR code on the back. I also got an extra little piece here for adjustment. This is the part of the holster that will go up against the belt facing out. So if you need a little bit more room, you can replace that. But I'm going to try this out with the standard adjustment, which is on it. Taking a look at this holster, it's definitely made of Kydex. I do like the design. We have all of these holes here for breathability. I'm sure if any particulate or water gets in there, it helps get that out of there. The Kydex does seem to be a little bit on the thin side, but it's very flexible and on an inside the waistband holster, sometimes that can be really good if the Kydex is too thick or too stiff. You might not get a good fit, but because this is going to be compressed a little bit up against your body, that might give us a very comfortable ride and a comfortable fit. So we'll just have to try that out. All of the fasteners, all of the screws, everything on this looks really, really good. I don't see any manufacturing defects. I do like their logo on the clip. The only thing about this from just looking at it that maybe I'm not going to like is that it doesn't have a big flap on the back. Often when it comes to my body shape, the side of the gun here in the back will sometimes dig into my side. But this may or may not be an issue depending on how this holster is designed and how it fits. But we'll have to see. Let's go ahead and try out this holster, see if it fits this Glock 19 with the Olight PL Turbo Valkyrie. It looks like it will. And yes, it fits in there really nice. One of the things I was wondering if this holster was going to work for is my sights. I did replace these sights in the past and I put on some excess sights and here we have a lot of room in the top here for even suppressor height sights. So that's not going to be an issue whatsoever. The retention on this seems to be pretty good and I know when this thing is up against your body and it's compressed a little bit, it does make it a little bit tighter, which I do like because as it sits here right now, it's not too tight. It definitely has retention, but I think when it is inside the waistband, you're going to get a little bit more, but it seems to fit this gun really well. I'm not really sensing any problems with it. I'm trying to shake it out of there. It's holding in there really, really well. I put it in a few times. Let's see if I see any weird wear marks. Eh, maybe something up here on the light, but you're going to have some contact surfaces. Nothing there. Let's look inside. Not seeing any issues whatsoever. It does not seem to be snagging on anything. The holster definitely covers up the complete trigger, which I do like, as you can see. That makes sure that it is nice and safe. You can't get to the magazine button at all. And it does appear that it is cut out for a red dot. So although this gun is not cut out for a red dot, you get plenty of clearance on the side and the back portion of this is wide open. So I'm pretty sure most red dots would fit that. So this seems to be a really well designed holster. It seems to be working well. Everything on it seems to be good. And so, let me take a moment here, let me put this on, and let's see how it carries. All right, so here we go with the Tactical Texas Gun Vault Dad Bot, and we're carrying this Hilliker holster and that Glock 19 with that Olight. And that is what it looks like from the side. 
It doesn't really print all that much. Now let's take a look at it right here. I have to say this is a very comfortable holster. I'm very impressed with it. I'm using my Core Essentials belt, which is a very thick belt, and the clip easily goes over it, and it is very, very secure. That spacer that I was talking about allows you to get your hand in there around the grip to pull out the gun. Reholstering is a little bit tougher because that Kydex does squeeze just a little bit, but it does secure the firearm really, really well. I was also worried about not having that pad on the back or that extra material and having the gun dig into me, but this holster, the way that it's designed, it doesn't do that. It is very, very comfortable. I find that it's very sturdy and conceals pretty darn well. So I was actually worried too that it might be too thick. It might stick out too much, but this thing actually is tucked up next to my body really, really well. I'm very impressed with how this thing is working. My only issue really is reholstering. So if I take it back out, put it back in, I just gotta get it in there at that right angle. And that's just because that Kydex squeezes just a little bit. When it comes to the retention, you have to really want to pull that firearm out. So while it's not a level two or level three retention, it's just simply pull the gun out of the holster. It is in there nice and secure. And it tucks up against my body really well and carries very comfortably. So I am really impressed with this thing. I really like it. It had a couple of concerns, but after carrying it a little bit, having it on my body and on this Core Essentials belt, it carries great and none of my concerns really are bothersome. So I have to say this is a really well designed, well thought out holster and it works really well on this Glock 19 and allows you to also carry that Olight or a Surefire X300 as well. So there you go. Pretty impressed with it. All right, let me go ahead and adjust the camera and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, so what are my final thoughts on the Hilliker holster for a Glock 19 with an attached Olight PL Turbo Valkyrie or Surefire X300? Well, this thing works really well. It works as advertised. It's kind of minimalistic in the fact it doesn't have a lot of options. You pretty much just pull it right out of the packaging and use it, but it retains the gun well. It functions well. It seems to be high quality. The only issue that I have had with it is I feel like the Kydex is a little bit too flexible, thus making reholstering for me a little bit of an issue, but it's not too bad. And of course, if you're going to pull a gun in self-defense, probably re holstering the gun isn't what you're really worried about. All of the options on it are just great. The clip can go around a core essentials belt, which is really thick. Yeah, the dimensions of this make it carry very comfortably. I'm very impressed with it. So on my star system, how would I rate the Hilliker holster for the Glock 19 with that Olight or Surefire? Well, I can say I can give this 4.75 stars out of five. The only issue, once again, is that flexible Kydex. I can tell you, though, that I like this so much, it definitely will enter my carry rotation. I haven't had a holster that I can carry a basic Glock 19 with an Olight or Surefire before, and that's why I'm really interested in this. It just seems to work well and be perfect for inside the waistband carry. So if you're interested in a holster like this, I think Hilliker is definitely a company that you might want to look into. I know they have a website, and so you guys can go check them out. But this video was not sponsored by them. Olight sent me this holster and not the holster company. So you guys can decide if any of that affected my bias in this review. So let me know what you think. Have you ever heard of this holster company before? Are you interested in them? Would you use them? And do you carry a light on your carry gun? And do you need a holster for that light? I think some people do because in the modern day, we have a lot of red dots, a lot of lights going on carry guns. And I think the holster manufacturers need to be producing products to accommodate that. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.